say sorry. Ask you a question, though. When you're ready. I'm listening. There's been a lot of girls and boys, new channels that we've been watching. And they have been, I don't want to say, well, in your opinion, do you think they've been reverse boosting? What's reverse boosting? Reverse boosting is when people by other means, figure out how to get in lesser lobbies to run around and just abuse the noobs. That's reverse boosting. So reverse boosting is for other people to get into lobbies to duck like the skill-based matchmaking exactly. type of thing? That's exactly what it is. Okay. And so what was the question again? From what we've seen in the past two people we've watched, do you think they're reverse boosting, and is it okay? Um, honestly, yeah, I believe that if you have to reverse boost, then you should uninstall the game. Oh, <laughs> and I say that because this game is not that serious for people that are not competing or not. Um, in any type of tournament or anything like that. Like, I'm talking to kind of like people that I know that want to do like YouTube channels or uh, um, do Twitch, you know, those type of gaming style mm -hmm. channels. And, and unless you're going to come from an informative educational standpoint where you're talking about the significance of the gun, you're talking about how the gameplay of the gun does help, you know, like certain things like that. Or if you're just doing it to um, get, I want to say, like comedic content, kind of like how Woe does, where he's just not playing the game itself. He's just interacting with the chat, and sometimes he get funny um, interactions on tape. Right. So we're going to push those aside. Okay. If you're just doing it because you're scared to play against people that could equally be as good as you, a little bit better than you, maybe trying to get better, and you're scared of competition, uninstall the game, bro. That's the whole premise of this game is to make you better, to get better, to challenge yourself. It's not about the people. Right. It's about you, you getting better, you getting stronger, you going against situations where, okay, that slide jump can, uh, cancel or those macros that you had preset, it ain't working in this environment because they on to you. Or, you know, do you know how to get out of sticky situations where everyone is not a bot? Mm. You know, do you know how to re-strategize or redefine your gameplay according to the situations? And I think that at the end of the day, if you have to get into a less than lobby, then you ain't with the smoke. Go play on Minecraft or Fortnite or go play Parcheesi or Checkers or something because we are here to step. If you're not here to step and you need your handheld, go sit down somewhere. You spectate. Mm. So, so that's just where I'm the at. The last it. two girls that we watch, if they said 1v1 me, bro, you think you can handle them? I know I can handle them. That's not even an issue. But the funny thing is they're not going to 1v1 me. I've been, I am a older person. My expectation to gaming, my view of gaming is just different entirely because I come from an era where cheating was, it was blasphemy. It, it was sacrilegious. Mm. It, it, it was on the premise of it being, are you that low born of a person <laughs> that you have to cheat? <laughs> like, why? It's a game. Like, we, we, it didn't make sense. It has no significance to cheat because when you think about it, it's just a game. The whole base of this, this is a game. We are here to have fun. We know what the rules are. Sometimes we can get a little crazy, but at the end of it, as adults, we learn, hey, this is a game. doesn't make or break you. But a lot of the people that are on here have built their identities on player. YouTube on being a good player. So when they are coming up, let's just say we take any one of the girl players that we see on YouTube. Right. Uh, let's say someone like Conviction. I like Conviction. I think she's pretty dope. I love her personality, number one. The gameplay, hey, man, subjective. Like, 
Some people think she's cheating. Some people say she's not. Some people just are cult followers. Some people think she's horrible. Whatever. That's not what the point is. The point is that she plays a game to have fun, so I can see why people gravitate towards her. But when you have her her sons, <laughs> or she her has offspring. her people, her offspring um, that follows the template and try to recreate this idea that they just cut on the game and were good, or I'm sorry, they've been playing the game, got good, then came to YouTube to show how good they are. I think it's disingenuous. And then if you are using tactics, like I said, the reboot or trying to get in bot lobbies or whatever million, I don't even, to be honest with you, I'm not even up abreast on any of the ways that they cheat because I mean, I'm still a controller person. <laughs> like, yeah. so I wouldn't know. What, I don't even know how that's done, but if I had to take a gander or a guess, if you have to do that, that automatically puts you in a category of suck. You suck, bro. Who even thinks before they come onto the game? Who does that? Who says, hey, before I come onto the game, I'm going to cheat? <laughs> and if you have to do that, you suck, bro. It's, just take that. That's more better than yeah, if you have, the other stuff you guys going on. If you have anything other than then the game of what the game gives you to me, your dog shit that I would say reverse boosting is one thing and the macros, a software to have macros in your control. All of that means you're, you're accepting that I'm not good at this game because yeah. I play the game raw. I don't, I don't put nothing else either. I'm going to win or I'm not like, I don't even play that game. And if you're doing any of that extra shit, you know, I'm dog shit. Yeah. And you should just start off your game that way. Say, Hey, listen, I'm going to cheat today. I'm going, I, it will make for better content. You know, I, I wouldn't assume, are you, are we supposed to take you seriously? That like, I never understand that portion of it. So that's why I don't go down that lane with them because then you want me to accept this as reality, and that I cannot do. And that I cannot so do. I, I kind of just look at it as, oh, they're using the gimmick of it saying, hey, I am an attractive person, or I look a certain way that I know that is trending right now. I'm going to use it to capitalize and make money off of uh, something as innocent as gameplay um, and reverse the rules or bend the rules to my advantage so that way I can get people here facetiously and then when that happens I'm going to try my best to hope that my youth beauty or um, unpersonality keeps it where people get mm. upset or they stay and they uh, comment and feel like they're tearing me down it's a whole it has to be that it has to be because what person takes something as innocent as a game or oh, we know all games have rules Right. And we follow the rules because it determines mice from the men. It separate the boys from the men. We see who comes show up. There will be a victor. There will be a loser. And if you are bending, mm. that means you're not ready with the smoke. So I don't even – I used to say things like, hey, man, if there's any girls out there that want to play, let's do it. It. There's only a few. Ashley's one of them. Um, she's someone that I love to contend with. In fact, it, it makes no sense to contend because there is so little of us that we yeah. just join forces. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, there's another uh, young lady. Or so when she plays with us, you know, I mean, she, she's joining forces because to and compete again. with each other, it's it, you're talking two two to three people or two percent. I'm sorry, we'll say we'll say a, a sound less than two percent of people that really as far and girl gamers, in my um, opinion, that really play. They just play to play, and they have gotten better. And it's a shame that the light does not shine on them that way because I see them having to get more naked. They have to put more things in their setup to attract a certain clientele of people. You know, it's, it's a whole real taboo thing because truly we know, coming from our age bracket, when it came to step, whether it was Mortal Kombat, it could be Tetris, it, it could be Atari, it could be Street Fighter, whatever it was that had it where you were playing the game to get your name on that scoreboard, especially in that number one slot, yeah. bro, you brought your A game. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't play that game, man. That that 
I don't know if you're cheating game. Like we didn't. Yeah. We don't even no one questioned like that, it. Bro. Either you I mean, real cheating, or you're not. Bro. <laughs> That's it. You know what cheating was to us? If, if we had to tell the young people today, cheating to us was you were putting your hand over eyes as I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, analog you cheating. push me out the way yeah, that, or that, slap that the controller down cheat. yeah things like that or you were holding in Super Mario Kart uh, um, the glowing shell to the last, the second. last minute yeah. you know that that's the equivalent of putting down a reverse <laughs> a four on Uno like there you know we had that too but man it was in good fun this stuff is serious to y'all it's, it's a real serious thing and it just goes to show blanketly you ain't ready to step so why bother why entertain and y'all numbers reflect it because people have done it before women have done this before oh man there's a bunch of men over here I'm going to come over here and I'm going to teach the boys that women can do it. And then when men call you out, men say, okay, cool. Put your, uh, put your stuff down. Let's keep it simple. Yeah. Right. One gun versus one or snipe versus snipe or run and gun or tactical or long, whatever way you want to play. I'll meet you there. That's when it's all, oh, no, you're a fan. <laughs> so I was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I just, I don't agree with it. And like I said, from a person that started, uh, when I came back into gaming, I was so nervous or with the mechanics of gaming, I lost my footing, but I just kept practicing. I kept practicing. I kept practicing. And I know for a fact, if someone, no one is going to say one be one me because they believe automatically, oh, I know I'm going to beat you because they have their stuff Cheats. in place. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't, I don't play that game because it's like, if you already know you're going to cheat, what am I? Why would I even give you the honor, the grace to play, to play someone yeah. like me? I, I earned. Would, I would only one v one somebody I thought that didn't cheat. Absolutely. And the truth is, all of y'all, you're changing the meaning of cheat. Oh, I got macros, but I don't cheat with it. Dude, that's cheating. Yeah, that's if you're cheating. not coming in here with just a controller hooked up or the regular, if you have an outside software doing anything, you're cheating. I don't. Ha only, when I turn this on, this is the only software that's playing. Yeah. Period. I don't have a macro system, so when I start, you don't see my thing go click, 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 click. My little, my, 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 my yeah. uh, gun go up a whole bunch of time. It's just what it is, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm coming to you, raw dog, bro. Pause. Like raw dog is full in effect. I would, I would equate it to if, if men would agree. You know, if you squared up with someone at the stoplight, and this guy got CO2 boost. And he gives you that look. You kind of already know, <laughs> like this guy yeah. got something going on. Because who comes up? You, you didn't know I was going to be here. You didn't know this moment was happening. But you got that look in your eye, <laughs> like oh, I'm about to give it to you. And it's like it's corny. It's just it's corny. If you wow. have to do this, just know, and you know, when you go to bed at night and you look at your numbers and you see those comments, the the one, the real ones that peek through, the real ones that touch your soul, you know. You're cheating.